So when I think about like, what is the idealized brain computer interface, the one that would really solve a lot of these problems, the thing I think of, if you've seen the Avatar movies, is this thing. It's a big externalized cranial nerve. So all of the information that flows in or out of the brain goes through a relatively small number of wires. There are 12 cranial nerves. The optic nerve is nerve two. The vestibulocochlear nerve that carries hearing and balance is nerve eight. Then you've got 31 spinal nerves that connect out to the muscle. And so when we think about our retinal prosthesis, what we really see is a nerve two interface. The question is that could you grow a 13th cranial nerve that has kind of interhemispheric class bandwidth, like the, the, the bandwidth that close. connects the, the two hemispheres, yeah. this fiber bundle called the corpus callosum. Could you have a branch of that that comes out and gives you a USB cable at the end. This was an idea that I had back in college, but really was beyond the field, like all of our collective ability to build at the time. But the idea that we had is, what if we, instead of placing something into the brain, we load an electronic device with heavily engineered neurons, stem cell derived neurons, embed them in a hydrogel so that the cells don't go anywhere, and then engraft the wet side of this into the brain. So we, there's no sterile injury to the brain. We don't place any electrical or mechanical parts. The only thing that penetrates into the brain are the biological processes of these graft cells, but at the far end, you get chemical synapses. And so we can activate these cells optically to fire them selectively. Uh, they grow both axons and dendrites, so we can get input and output, and we can record from them electrically. So the optical stim and electrical record allows us to avoid crosstalks. We can drive all of them at once. And this is a cool device because you can easily make 100,000 electrode device because you're much closer to the cells, so you can have much tighter electrode pitch. You can load that with a million neurons, and when that grows in, you'll get a billion synapses throughout huge areas of cortex.